Hi everyone, Arthur Dibb, the Heathen Blacksmith, back again. And today I'd like to talk about blacksmithing books, because there's loads of them that you can read, and they're all on different subjects. So, in no particular order, this one, Alex Beeler, The Art of Blacksmithing. This is not really a how-to book, it's more like the history and all oh, various things throughout time. I've got post-it notes everywhere in here. Um... It's a wonderful book if you want to know the history and everything. It's practically all in one book. This has been in my forge a few times. I can't show you what's in it due to copywriting laws. Um, but this, if you want to know about history and certain parts of blacksmithing that are quite vague, quite a good book to get. So I suggest that one. Now, this one I got off a friend who works in a charity shop in Lancaster, the UK. Um, the Blacksmith Craft Council for Smaller Industries and in, in and Rural Areas. This is a brilliant book, absolutely brilliant. I haven't found any other copies. I think you can get it on Amazon. I'm not sure, but it's an amazing book. This it has step by step and lessons on how to do practically everything, from making rings, forge welding drawing down all the basic techniques and then it's got some bits in it for, th for you to try it goes into detail it's very small but it's really good amazing book that if you're gonna get any of them get that one if you can find it that is now this one is one of my favorite books i used this for years it's the blacksmith's craft by charles mcraven absolutely brilliant when i first started out in blacksmithing i was doing a lot of salvaged materials you know i was finding stuff and using all sorts of stuff um for knives and tools and various other things but this has got tempering in it it's got all sorts of stuff it it is a stunning book it shows you how to make a forge really dead easily how to use anvils what you can use as anvils it's just a stunning book that is amazing i use it a lot hence why it's quite scratchy i've used it in the forge for years i think i've actually got several copies of this because one for keepsake and the other just to really use all the time so that is brilliant right another brilliant book which i do use quite a lot is the artist blacksmith design and techniques by peter parkinson it can be expensive However, there's some really dynamite stuff in here. Really good at blacksmithing. I think he does structural and sculptural work, gates, railings, all sorts of stuff. But he knows his stuff. And it's not that big, but the information in it is astounding. Um, how to set up a forge, tools. Oh, it just keeps going. Uh, measurements for certain things certain blacksmithing techniques um really ornate iron work it's absolutely stunning and quite a few of the pieces that he's had you know there's one in here in oh, where is it overston in the uk in cumbria i've actually gone to see it because i thought oh that looks really interesting so i went and had a look brilliant book would like to meet the guy in person one day if possible that is a good book um one of my most recent finds i found is the home blacksmith by ryan rigway it's i've looked through it a bit it's like a how-to book on how to do blacksmithing um really interesting you know again how to set up your workshop different parts of an anvil blacksmithing techniques and it has some projects in it closer to the middle it's quite a good book you know i haven't had a proper look through but from the flicking through that i've done on it there's some techniques in here i'd like to give a whirl at so yeah the the home blacksmith it's definitely a good book right now projects 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 always looking for projects to do so blacksmithing projects now this is intermediate blacksmith i'd say and it has measurements and blueprints and all sorts of loveliness for 
practically lots of projects because that's what it's on but it's brilliant you know it has information and tips in it it's absolutely stunning the book um now i say stunning a lot but it is very good so if you want to get into learning different projects get yourself a copy of that um here's another one blacksmithing basics for the homestead now my workshop is on private land in my own back garden and I do a lot of blacksmithing from there and you know I do classes and all sorts of stuff once lockdown's over of course but as we're in lockdown I can't do it at the moment until we're out of lockdown um, but this one it it's very Americanized to find which isn't a bad thing at all but some of the things you just can't get over in the UK other things you can and it's is a how-to book and it has lots of projects in it you know pokers shovels tongs hooks camping equipment uh, towel bars um or oh, chisels hammers adzes the list goes on it's a good little book to get um you know it's one of my one of my recent ones so i've had a flick through and my yeah some things in there i'd like to give a whirl at um one I learnt of in college, the Backyard Blacksmith, um, can't pronounce the person's name, sorry, but yeah, quite dusty this one. This one does live in the Forge, forge Workshop at times, because there's bits and bobs in here that, it's a how-to book again, uh, female blacksmith, not many of them around, love, love it, you know, get some more female blacksmiths, lots more people involved in blacksmithing, um, but it's a great book again. Um, you can do pot racks and different types of twists. It talks about all sorts of stuff. Setting up your workshop. Oh, um, musical triangles, tower rails. The, the list goes on. It really does. And lots of useful information at the back. So that's one of my one of my favourites as well. Right, now we've got a specialised book. If you ever want to get into armour making, I suppose this is one of the books you really need to get. It is quite expensive, I will not lie. I think I paid £80 pound for this book. So, yeah, it's quite a bit. Um, so, it's Techniques of Medieval Armour Production, 14th Century, Brian R. Price. This is a thick book because the amount of information in this book is crazy. Now, it must have took years to make, but it covers everything on armour. And I mean everything from the history, how to make them, tips and tricks and measurements and everything. I can't show you the inside. I wish I could, but I really can't. This book is great. And yes, I've got post-its everywhere in it because I like doing bits of armour now and again. Not all the time, but you know, it's a fun book that. Right. There is some other books. Um, Metal Craft Design and Ideas. This one is basically a project book. And it tells you about all sorts of stuff. Mainly for the garden. And railings and gates. And um, baskets for flowers. And things like that. That's a good little book to get. I'm not sure on the author, to be honest. But it's a good little book. Right. When you're in your workshop, I know you don't want to always take these books in because they are worth quite a bit. So get yourself a notebook. Now I've had the same notebook for 14 years, nearly 15 years. And I put everything in it, little notes, anything I think of, things like that. It doesn't have to be amazing. I've had this, like I said, 14, 15 years. And I got a hard back and I put notes in it and anything I think of and calculations for making rings and hinges and things like that doodle it all down in that and you know yeah lots of coke dust on that um and then later on i thought to myself hmm if i want to pass down this information that i've learned why don't i put it up in neat so i've started to do that now in here i've just gone mad on it um because if I'm passing down the information that I've learned from different smiths and things like that, I can. And I'll try and open it up for you. 
I've written pages of information in there. Things I've learned over time, things that blacksmiths have told me, um, things I've tried, experiments I've tried. I've been doing a lot of them recently on different techniques. If I found any problems along the way, forge welding, all sorts of stuff. I've got my rough book and now I've got my neat book as well which all handwritten and I'm putting nice calligraphy into it and things like that. But that aside, get all the blacksmithing books. There is one I'd really like to get my hands on, but I can't find it at the minute. Roy Adams at Christ Center Ironworks showed it at one point on five of the best books that he knows of. Uh, it's called Iron Menagerie. If anybody knows how to get hold of it, I'd love a copy because I'd be using it all the time for what's in it. Um, so yeah, get yourself down to your local library, have a look if they've got any blacksmithing books, if they haven't, you can get them from Amazon, Ebay, uh, Adobe Books, all sorts of places, but I prefer hard copy instead of Kindle and things like that, and then I don't have to charge it to open it, so yeah, get some books, there is others out there, there's loads more out there, these are just some of the common ones I use all the time. It's a tiny selection compared to what I normally have. Um, but some of, they're some of the best ones I've come across. So, yeah, get out to your workshop. I love it if you smash that like button and comment on it and even share it. It'll be a great thing. It'll help me a lot. So, thank you very much and I'll see you all again.